from KETK, you're watching East Texas Live. Welcome back to East Texas Live. Joining me now is Doug with the Adaptive Foundation. He is here to talk about their third annual block party fundraiser. Doug, good morning. How are we? I'm doing great, doing great. Good to have you in studio with us this morning. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about your organization and what you guys are doing in the community right now. Yeah, sure. So the Adaptive Foundation serves as a health vehicle for um, individuals with adaptive needs in their families. And so adaptive health needs is a pretty broad category. We service spinal cord injury, wheelchair bound individuals, um, amputees, uh, Down syndrome, autism spectrum, and many, many more. So anyone that's not in a traditional type of health option. All right, perfect. And mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about the block party you guys have coming up and yeah. how that's gonna help impact your organization. Yeah, sure. So third annual block party, it's going to be uh, this Saturday, April 29th, uh, going from 9 a.m. to 2. We're gonna be, uh, you know, having a cornhole tournament and then we'll have uh, a big kind of like attraction area for kids and so we'll have mechanical bull, dunk tank, uh, we'll have a uh, bounce house, we'll have a bunch of live music, uh, business vendors, food, all that type of stuff. Sounds it's like really a exciting. great day to be mm -hmm. outdoors too. Oh yeah. oh yeah. Awesome. And tell us a little bit about where the funds from that fundraiser will go. Yeah, sure. So uh, we've been blessed with sponsors to, to lock in a youth neurodivergent PE class that, that runs year round and we're trying to expand that reach and get into more uh, consistent health options for our adaptive health community. So um, this found or this fundraiser, we're either going to lock in an adult neurodivergent class or um, depending on how big it gets, you know, maybe even expand into more scholarships where we have like three or four or five amputees or other adaptive health individuals on scholarship um, that don't pay anything to get health services. And talk to me a little bit about this, um, how the support that you guys provide for those in need, how mm -hmm. does that all work? How do you get the support from the organization to those in need? Sure, sure. So uh, Adaptive is an official 501c3, so it's a nonprofit. And so what I do is through the funds, I work with the board on what those funds can do. And I say like, okay, who has applied for support? Um, how can we service those individuals? And then from there, I work directly with the people that apply. I'll go to the family and the individual and say, what's going on? Um, I'll either operate as a infrastructure support during a big time of change. So if you're fresh into an amputation, I can provide people that have been amputees for you know decades and kind of help you know what the lifestyle's like and prepare you mentally for that. Hire on psychological services to kind of help you be able to handle your emotions. And then hire on health where like maybe you do occupational physical therapy or we'll hire on you know uh, services like health and training like what I'll hire on APEC to do or I'll hire on these uh, trainers in the facility to be able to provide a consistent health option for them past that big moment of change. Wow, incredible work there. Thank and you. tell us a little bit about where people can go for more information if yep. they are in need or would like to help you out. Yeah, sure. So uh, apecadaptive.org, if you just want to click around, uh, there's uh, the about section that kind of shows some stuff that we've done in the past. Uh, there's APEC Adaptive slash block party where it shows uh, all the things that are happening at the event. Uh, there'll be some donate click outs if you have uh, you know an opportunity to donate. We do it through Venmo, PayPal, Cash App, take check cash you know kind of anyway and then we, we put all those funds directly into the communities that they come from so anything that comes from Tyler will go directly back into the people in Tyler all right perfect well Doug thank you for joining us this morning thank and you. we will be right back on East Texas live with the second half in just about two minutes stay with us